Hello everyone! In this tutorial we explain how to install Movit 2 in ROS2 and how to start with motion planning of robotic arms in Movit. Movit is a very powerful ROS2 software package for motion planning, manipulation, 3D perception, kinematics, control and navigation of robotic manipulators. In this tutorial we explain how to install Movit by directly building the files from the source. It is also possible to install Movit by downloading the binary files. This will be explored in our future tutorials. Over here, as an illustration, we will demonstrate how easy it is to do motion planning with Movit. This is a Kinova robotic arm. The orange representation of the robotic arm is the gold state. And we can change this gold state like this. We can move this ball and we can also change the orientation of our end effector. For example, let's fix this goal position. If I click over here, I will show the green representation of the robot. This is the start state. So let's change the goal state for example, let's go here and let's move it over here. Now, I can simply press this button plan and execute and you can see that the robot will move from the start state to the goal state. And here it is. Perfect. The real power of Movit comes from the fact that we can use C++ or Python to perform path and motion planning tasks. Ok, let's start with installation. We will be using the official Movit 2 manual provided on this website. The first step is to source the environment. Consequently, we need to execute this command. However, before we execute this command, we need to change our current ROS2 distribution. In my case, I'm using Humble. Consequently, over here, I need to type Humble. Okay, this will source the environment. The next step is to install ROSDAP and its dependencies. So, execute this command. And most likely, if you installed ROS2 properly, you don't need to run this. However, let's follow the manual. I don't need to run these two commands. However, you can try to run them. I will just run the update. And after that, I will run this upgrade command. Next, we need to install Colcon in order to be able to build the ROS2 packages and we need to install with mixing. Consequently, we need to execute these commands. First of all, this one, then this one, then you need to execute this command. And finally, you need to execute this command. After that, you need to install VCS tool. Okay, the next step is to create a Colcon workspace and to download all the tutorials. Consequently, you need to create a new source directory and we need to download the source code. However, first we need to, to navigate to this folder, to the source folder and then we need to clone the repository. We do it like this and this will take some time. Next, we will download the source code for the rest of Movit. We do it like this.
and here you need to be patient. Okay, next we need to execute this command. And after that command, we need to navigate to the source folder, actually better to say to the workspace folder, and then we need to run this command. However, don't run this command just like this. My experience shows that this will not build the package properly, and consequently you need to add this parameter that will ensure that all the packages are being installed sequentially. And press enter. Now, in my case, the installation procedure took around 15 or 20 minutes. So be patient over here, since you're building, or better to say, compiling the complete package. In our next tutorial, we will explain how to install Move It by not building from source, that is by downloading the binaries. On my computer, the complete process took around 20 minutes. And you can see over here several warnings. I will ignore these warnings. The next step is to source the created package. We do it like this. Okay, now we are ready to launch a demo example. I will simply execute demo.launch.py and let's hope that everything will be fine. Okay, let's see. Here it is. This demo example will load Arvis and it will load Kinova Manipulator shown over here. Here it is. Next, let's learn how to do motion planning. First of all, notice this displays menu. Scroll down and find motion planning. Expand motion planning. And over here, expand planning request. Here, we will change this option planning group and instead of gripper, we will select manipulator. Mm -hmm. This means that we will plan the motion of the complete manipulator. Here, let us explain a few things. If I click over here, I can zoom in or actually zoom out or better to say show the start state. Currently, you cannot see the start state since the start and goal state are equal. To show you the start state, I will simply move the goal state. Okay, I will move it over here. Now, if I click over here on query start state, you can see that the start state is represented by the green color. Here you can change the color of the start state. For example, if you like some other color, you can, for example, choose this color and select. And this will be the start state. Next, let's move the goal state to some other position. How to do that? Well, we can simply move this green ball to some position and you can also change the orientation. You can change the orientation by pressing these circular rollers. For example, you can change the orientation around this axis, around this axis, or around this axis. Okay, so let's keep this orientation. Next, let's learn how to do motion planning. Motion planning is relatively easy. Once you fix the start and the goal state, you can click on plan and you can click on execute. And now you can see what happened. Now I will repeat this again to show it again. And you can see how the manipulator moves from the start to the goal state. Let's change the goal state once more. Oops, I'm changing the start state. I don't want that. So I will simply query start state, disable it, and I will change the end state over here. This is now the start state, click on plan and click on execute. Now you, you will see often this failed, so you can simply plan and execute and you can see that everything moves.
Now here you have to be patient since it takes some time. Next, let us set the start state to be actually the home. If you click here, you can see that the start state becomes the home position. And let's fix the goal state to be in home. Okay, and let's click on plan and plan and execute. This will just bring the goal state to the home position. And here again, be patient since it takes some time to perform this manipulation. Okay, now let's select the goal state to be, let's say, for example, a random state. So if you click on random on random valid, you will select some random state. And let's click on plan and execute. And you can see that the robot is going from the home position to some random state shown over here. This will take some time. Here I will disable the start state and let me show you how you can independently move the joints. So if you click here, you will have an opportunity to independently move every joint, actually only the active joint. So if I change this bar over here, I'm moving joint 2. Then over here I can move joint 4 and I can move joint 6. Now. Let's now play with null space exploration. So if I play with this bar, my robot is moving in null space. So what is a null space? Look what happens. The end effector position and orientation are kept constant. However, we can see there are different robotic configuration that can lead us to the same position and orientation of our end effector. That is, the solution of the inverse kinematics problem is not unique and all the solutions are actually in null space of our robot. And this is an excellent demonstration of the null space. Then over here you have some other options that you can play with. You can play with stored states, stored scenes, you can check the status, you can play with this option with manipulators, etc. We can explain, actually we will explain all these other options in our future tutorials.